The sum if s function is one of the most useful function in Excel, especially if you have a table or range including duplicated values, but you want to set specific criteria and not just one, but multiple criteria. It helps you to aggregate numbers. Once you start working with Power BI, this formula can be translated into the DAX language. Let me show you. So according to our scenario, we are selling bicycle parts in different countries. We got a product code and there is a product name tied to the product code. There is a sales date and quantity and a specific price for each country. Just for the simplicity, I'm using two different countries in this example. And today I want to just create a simple table where I'm aggregating the quantity sold field according to the product code and the country. So first I go to my product code table which includes the unique product codes and the product name. Make sure when you make a calculation like this then you have a one-to-many relationship. So you have to have a unique value on your table. So as a first step I go to the table tools tab and I hit new column. Let's name my column like USA quantity and then we can start entering our DAX and it will start like this. Calculate and now I have to set an expression to tell to the DAX that what I'm going to do exactly or what I want from the DAX to do. And what I want, I want to sum up some values from a specific table. And since I want to see the quantity for the USA, then I'm going to use the USA tab and I'm going to select the quantity sold fields. Then I close the brackets and I'm going to set the next argument. And that's basically the step where you set the conditions. And in order to set any condition in a DAX formula, you have to use the filter function. The first thing I need to define in my filter function is the actual table where I want to filter or select the items I want to sum up. And it's going to be again the USA January table because I'm aggregating the data for the US business. And now I can set the actual condition or expression for my filter function. Since I want to aggregate the numbers based on the product code, then I'm going to say that the USA January product code field should be equal with my product code field on my, on my table. Then I simply close the brackets and hit enter. And here we go. It calculated the total sales quantity for the USA business using only one condition. But what if I want to set multiple conditions because I said we are going to translate the sum if s which can hold multiple conditions in the same formula. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to set another condition within my expression. I go back to the formula bar, I expand a little bit. I'm going to remove these brackets. And in order to set an end statement in the DAX, you have to use the double end percent in the expression. And my second condition is going to be like this. So, so USA January table and let's say quantity sold should be bigger than 50 pieces. I close the brackets, hit enter and I collapse the formula bar. And as you see, it summed up only the line items from my sales table where the quantity sold is bigger than 50 pieces. Let's double check it. Product one, Axel, 126 pieces. I go to my USA sales tab and I'm going to select the product one and quantity sold number filters greater than 50. Hit OK. I select the column and as you see the total results is exactly the same. And as you see we were able to translate the sum if s function into DAX using multiple conditions.